into neutral right away to keep the PTO going because a four to eight end does not have a live PTO. Anytime you push the clutch in, the PTO stops, which means the snowblower stops, and this stops pushing the snow, and that snow just falls down and sits in the chute and gets clogged up. I think you need a bigger stick. So I always just put a stick right here leave it here and then I never put my hand in there even though I have the PTO disengaged because that switch could could fail or whatever. So then I gotta sit here and unplug the chute. But that's the hard part of driving it is anytime you're gonna stop you have to pick up the implement before you stop and then switch into neutral right away and take your foot off the clutch and uh, watch blow where you're going. that remainder snow out. Huh? And watch where you're going. Yeah, and then watch where you're going at the time. So without a live PTO, when I engage it, I let go of the PTO for the clutch and it goes. Any gear on there, even neutral. But once I press, press the clutch in to stop, it stops. So then whatever snow's in there is going to fall back in the chute because it didn't get pushed out all the way. <clears throat> Unless you raise the PTO and you have very little snow in there or, or raise the snow lower when you're about to stop and then you don't have as much snow in there. And then right when you push the clutch in, Put it in neutral and let go of the clutch, and then that remainder of snow hopefully get blown out. Now then you have a two-wheel drive tractor, and you can't steer very well as it is. 
and add that, add into that, you're going backwards. So you have to, you can steer by braking each individual rear tire. So not only are you going backwards and you're steering by braking each tire, then you have to also worry about how much snow is building up in the snow blower and if you're going to have to pick it up before it gets clogged. Because once you get, once you stop and you have a giant mound of snow behind you, it'll probably, the shoot will probably get clogged. You look like the guy. Impressive. Well, we caught a, another squirrel. We got to get him from making a home in our house in that little nook because they drive the dogs nuts at night so I bought a live trap and we caught one with that but it's it's really hard to because you gotta bait him to get in there so then I just got some fishing line a stick in a box and uh we caught one doing that. When we see them out here eating, they're not scared of us when we come outside. So uh, she just pulled the fishing line and dropped the stick on him. And he's inside there. And he's probably mad. So now somehow I got to get him in here. Where are you, little friend? I don't know how you're gonna reach in and grab them. <coughs> oh, shh. And now he's all the smarter and wiser. He got out that little corner or the handle. Did he? Yeah, because I packed this one over here. I think he got out of the thing right here. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Now he's smart. Now he's just intelligent. Damn it. <laughs> Squirrel one. A zero.
because there is only one reverse gear on an 8N, you have to throttle the engine up to propel the snow far enough to get it off of the trail, which means you're going backwards even faster with a two-wheel drive tractor. It makes it very difficult to clear a quarter mile long driveway. So, in conclusion, you can uh, get a quarter mile long driveway snow blowed out with the Ford 8N, but I wouldn't recommend it. Definitely not going to want to do it more than once. Um.